More often than not, at some time in our weekly lives, we mutter the words, if only there was more time in the day. Yet, ironically, there seems to be heated discussions daily on social media forums about what movement is accurate, or it's rubbish if it's not even cost for certified. One brand, however, has managed to reverse this phenomenon, effectively slowing down time. Meister Zinger, based in Munster, Germany, have been making single hand watches since 2001, taking inspiration from the first mechanical clocks of the late Middle Ages. They only had one hand displays and therefore literally pointed to an exact moment in time. This philosophy has pushed the brand upwards with a wide variety of complications now in their catalogue, including this amazing novelty piece, the Bell Horror, released earlier this year. A quick shout out to Mad Associates who loaned this watch to me for the review. It's greatly appreciated and I'm thankful to a company allowing a small channel like mine to have access to an array of interesting and different pieces. Before we get into the details, how the heck does this watch work? This piece even got my wife intrigued and we figured it out together which is very cool. Starting with the hour markers, this is the hour you were in. Between those numerals on the outer chapter ring, each marker represents 5 minutes with the larger one between being 30 minutes past and the half marker being quarter. Thus, you are not going to get the time accurate to the nth degree, but that's the point. You don't need to. The semi-polished stainless steel case measures in at 43.08mm and 13.48mm in height, including the dome sapphire crystal. A lug to lug of 49.88mm and a lug width of 20mm allows this watch to wear well on my 17cm wrist, partly due to the significantly angled lugs from the case. The thin bezel at the front of the case is highly polished along with the top and bottom of the lugs while the side of the case has a semi-polished finish. I enjoy this look as it flirts between casual and dressy, making it rather versatile. Finishing is of high quality and can be seen with the thin beveled edges that transitions between the lug and the case. The brown calf leather strap with crocodile grain and contrasting stitching is soft and flexible enough to be comfortable from first wear. It tapers from 20mm to 17 well measured on my calipers, and also not overwhelmingly thick. They found the right balance which is nice to see. Other options include a Milanese bracelet or a vintage saddle brown leather strap for a more casual look. The buckle supplied on hand is a polished pin style with the company logo. I am told that when sold this strap will be normally be a deployant style. At the three position, there's a large polished sign, non screw down crown, which equates to 50 meters of water resistance. I enjoyed the size of said crown and made winding of the SW200 movement very easy with a smooth action. There's only one position when pulling the crown, which is the time changing function, but does have hacking of the movement, which I found interesting. My favorite part was changing the time after a wind and getting to hear the charming ringtone as it passed each hour. The pusher at 2 can be pulled if you do not wish to hear the chime, perhaps during night hours if you sleep with your watch on or you store them close by. On the back there's an exhibition case back revealing the movement. I was hoping for a little more finishing here but it does maintain its traditional looks of decoration with Geneva stripes and perlage. Beating away as mentioned earlier is a Meister Zinger Bell based off a Salida SW200 with a proprietary complication module. With 26 joules and operating at 4 Hz and 28,800 vibrations per hour gives you 38 hours of power reserve. The bell module has been adapted to this movement and cleverly strikes the sound fork located behind the dial exactly on the hour. This is known as sonnerie et passage, my French is terrible I apologise, or ringtone at passage. Behind the dome sapphire crystal with anti-reflective on the inside we are met with an elegant natural ivory dial. In some press releases it looks quite pink, but having it in hand inside and outside 
The dial is certainly of a creamy ivory color. There's also a sunburst blue option as well. The first thing you notice, after the black needle shaped single hand of course, is the almost art deco spiral shaped geometry of the dial. This pattern provides surprisingly intuitive overview of the day's 24 hours simultaneously. The single, black, sharp needle hand sweeps over the 12 hours divided by 144 markers, each representing 5 minutes and is clear and legible. The black numerals are easily visible and the font used is perfect for this watch, keeping with the classic styling. Text is kept to a minimum with the company logo up top at 12 and Bell Horus scripted at the 6th position with a small bell icon above it. Simple and effective. With its one hand watches, Meister Zinger goes back to the origins of watchmaking and shows us how charming it can be to read time in the simplest way possible. And perhaps also to see that time passes much more slowly than it seems, allowing us to enjoy the time we actually have in each and every hour. Maybe I should have started the review with that quote taken from the Meisterzinger website. The display principle is similar to that of the first mechanical clocks, which use just one hand to indicate the time of day. And I absolutely love this concept. Once you get used to it, this original way to display the time helps you to have a more relaxed way to consider the passing of time. Something I think we could all use more often than not. Thanks for watching the review, I hope you enjoyed it. Please do all that good stuff, like, subscribe and share. If you want to follow more daily content, head over to my Instagram page at Mr. Ace K Productions. Until next time. And Bell Horror scripted at the position. Uh, for f sake. Where are you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh. Do I sound funny? I'm still recording.